Ego a me. Well, here's the correct way to pronounce that, courtesy of howtopronounce.com. Ego a me. Ego a me. And those are two ancient Greek words that mean I am or I exist. They form the first person singular present active indicative of the verb to be. Now, if that all sounds Greek to you, well, that's because it is. Hey, I'm Gary and you're watching 7 Minutes in the Word. On the night before his crucifixion, Jesus had a long and profound conversation with his disciples. Uh, he knew that his mission on earth was almost completed, but he also knew that his disciples still did not fully understand who he was, uh, why he was here. Uh, what it was that he had to do next, and uh, where he was going. In today's lesson, we will take a look at what he had to say about who he was, uh, who he still is. Uh, he wanted his disciples, both then and now, to know that he was one with God. In John, the 14th chapter, verses uh, 11 through 8, we read this. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father and it is enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you so long, and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. Or else, believe on account of the works themselves. In the Gospel of John, more than any other of the Gospels, Jesus uses the two words, ego a me. Uh, th these two words mean I am, or I exist. A and these are the same two words that God used when he spoke to Moses and, and, and told Moses, uh, I am who I am. And you can find that in Exodus uh, 3, uh, 14. On seven occasions in John, Jesus used these words with a predicate. He said, uh, I am the bread of life. I am the light of the world. I am the good shepherd. Uh, I am the resurrection and the life. Uh, I am the way. And I am the vine. I am the true vine. In these verb phrases, Jesus tells us something about his nature. He exists as the bread of life. Uh, he exists as the light of the world. However, on three occasions, Jesus uses these two words, ego a me, I am, by themselves. Uh, these two words, these two Greek words, are represented in Hebrew by the consonants YH and WH and pronounced Yahweh. Yahweh is the Hebrew word that our English Bibles translates as Jehovah. And on three occasions in the book of John, Jesus uses these two words, ego and me, uh, to identify himself as Yahweh. In John 6, uh, verses 19 and 20, uh, the disciples had left Jesus on the shore and had uh, started out across the sea by themselves without him. Uh, when they were about three or four miles uh, out from shore, uh, th they saw Jesus walking towards them on the water. But Matthew and Mark, they both tell us that the disciples thought they were seeing a ghost or a spirit. Uh, and this calls back to mind the spirit of God hovering over the uh, waters in Genesis 1 and, and verse 2, or possibly in Job 9 and 8, where Job said, Who alone stretches out the heavens and tramples down the waves of the sea? The disciples thought Jesus was a ghost, and they were frightened. And in John 6, verse 20, Jesus said, It is I. Do not be afraid. In the phrase, it is I, well, the translators added the word I. In the Greek, it's only two words. Ego and me. Uh, Jesus said to his disciples, I am. Don't be afraid. Now, in chapter 8 of John, Jesus says, I am, three times. 
Now, the first two times that he says, I am, may be a little ambiguous, and it's not certain whether he was saying, uh, I am deity, or, or whether he was just saying, I am he. However, there is no ambiguity in, in John 8, 58. Jesus said, Truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham was born, I am. And the Jews who heard him say this, well, they clearly believed that he was claiming to be Yahweh. And that's why they tried to stone him. And then in John 18, verses 1 through 6, uh, when the soldiers had come to the Garden of Gethsemane to arrest Jesus, Jesus asked them, uh, Whom do you seek? And the soldiers replied, Jesus the Nazarene. And Jesus said to them, I am he. Verse 6 says this, So when he said to them, I am he, they drew back and fell to the ground. In the phrase, I am he, the word he is italicized. It's italicized to indicate that it was not in the original Greek. Uh, the translators added it. In the original Greek, Jesus said, I am. Uh, it is clear that those who came to arrest Jesus, well, they understood this to mean that he was deity. They understood this to mean Yahweh. That's why they fell back and fell on the ground. There are people who say that they believe Jesus was a good man, but he wasn't God. There's a big problem with this. Uh, Jesus claimed to be God. Uh, he has convinced millions of people that he is God. Uh, if he is not God, then he is a liar and he's not a good man. In John 8, 24, Jesus told the Jews, Therefore, I said to you that you will die in your sins. For unless you believe that I am, you will die in your sins. It was up to them to believe or not believe. It is up to us to believe or not believe. On the night before his crucifixion, Jesus wanted to make sure that his disciples believed that he was one with God. And this is why he emphatically said, Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father. Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or else believe on account of the works themselves. Well, next week we're going to return here. And we're going to look at the works that he did and, and why we should believe that he is one with God because of the works. Well, thank you for being here today. Uh, if you liked this study today, well then please click the like button and come back again next week for the next 7 Minutes in the Word.